Hi, I'm Patrick Tuttle, the real estate guy with Legacy Real Estate Services with FAQ Friday. For today, it is November 3rd, and we'll be right back. <laughs> yeah, can you believe it? Oh, November the 3rd. Guys, there are less than 60 days left in 2017, but that doesn't stop the fact that Jordan wants to know what an HOA fee is. And for those of you who aren't aware, and for the rest of you too, because you're watching this anyway, HOA stands for Home Owners Association. And the fees that are paid to homeowners associations go to pay for things like gates at the entrances of subdivision, the monuments at the entrances of subdivision. Maybe it pays for the medians. Uh, there are a couple of neighborhoods here in El Paso that have medians, and those medians have to get watered. They have to get maintained by a landscaping company. It pays to keep your neighborhood somewhat homogenous. Okay. Now, what I mean by that is that they, they have rules and restrictions on paint and uh, certain outbuildings and things that you can't build. And the HOA, the Homeowners Association, is designed to keep certain things from being built in the backyard of your neighbors so that your property values will hold value over time. For example, uh, here in West El Paso, there are some homes that um, have a big red barn built in the backyard. Now, if you own the big red barn, I think it's probably great, but your neighbors may not like that big red barn in the backyard because they may look at it as an eyesore instead of something that complements the neighborhood. So, homeowners associations, they go to pay for the things like keeping the neighborhood homogenous, meaning it's the, uh, pretty much the same all the way around. The colors, the street maintenance, sometimes it's the street maintenance if it's a private homeowners association like Estancia's Coronado, for example. And your homeowners association there will also pay for the guard at the gate to keep your neighborhood secure. Now, the next question that usually is a follow-up is, how much do they cost? Well, here in West El Paso, about 20 bucks a month will get you into the Cimarron neighborhood. But if you're in Estancia's Coronado, you're probably paying $250 to $300 a month, depending on the size of the lot and the home that you have in that neighborhood. If you are in a condo association, your HOA fees may be more because it may be paying for electric, gas, water, cable TV and the pool maintenance and the exterior maintenance. So there's a wide range of what these things cover. Jordan, I hope that answers your question for today. If not, call me, 915-585-7777 or see us on the web, Patrick at patricktuttle.com. And thanks for watching today. If you've got questions, use those same contact information to get to me, and I'll be happy to answer your questions on a future episode of FAQ Friday. Thanks for watching, God bless you, and make it a great day. Bye-bye.